I have created a whip monster and it's taking over my life. So in this episode, I will be getting it under wraps and I'll be taking you along for the journey. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Mads and I am obsessed with all things crochet and dogs and animals. Just generally, I love all living things. My current crochet obsession though is creating um, greyhound dog snoots. They can fit any large dog, but I'm just modeling it off my dog Sox's head. Um, we foster failed with him about two years ago and we're currently fostering another greyhound called Pete. He is very sweet, quite timid, but he will be going away to his forever home once he is ready. So I will keep you guys updated once that happens as well. But yeah, I have just been going crazy creating dog snoots um, which I then donate to the rescue that we volunteer with and they sell it for fundraising purposes so you know doing good but I have just been living in chaos with all of these whips like these this is taking over my life <laughs> and my living room um, and I just need to get it done <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing that this weekend I'm currently filming on a Saturday it is about 10 30 so I've pretty much got all day today and pretty much all of tomorrow because I don't have many plans apart from the gym and things like that so yeah <laughs> hopefully we can get all of this done by tomorrow because um, yeah back to the grind work on Monday so we'll see how we go I currently have three of these pinkish snoots they're sort of like flecked with pink yellow and purples these will become unicorn snoots so i still need to make the ears the horn and then the unicorn hair so quite a bit of work still left for these guys but i've got three of them hopefully they can be done by tomorrow i'll probably do that later because that's the most work that is involved um in completing them then I have a few red snoots. I've got about five and I'm currently working on a sixth one, but I'm not going to count that as a whip because I've literally just started this morning <laughs> procrastinating from completing these. But these will become either devil snoots for Halloween or foxes. So I'm going to see, um, I'm going to calculate how much yarn I have left off this particular red yarn uh, of this color and see how many more snoots I can get out of that and depending on if I have yarn left over I might make a few fox ears which I can then turn some of these into foxes instead of Halloween snoots otherwise I'm just gonna crochet up some horns in white and yeah basically pop them on here and they will become devils so yeah we've got five of them to get done I also have a few green snoots I've dropped one so just need to pick that up I have got three green snoods that will become frogs. They're quite dark green, but hopefully you can see it in the light. And I currently have one that is in progress. I've pretty much got the neck part sort of done, but I am playing the yarn chicken with that. So um, that is my last skein of yarn over here. It is tangled in a lot of other yarn because I've been making eyes out of the same skein too. But this is how much I've got off that frog. Um, and yeah, I need to create some eyes. I've done the backs. I need to do the fronts, which are basically this. So like the white, uh, the black, white, and green. And then the blacks are just, uh, the backs <laughs> are just literally just green. And then I crochet them together to basically hide the color change in the back. Um, and then yeah, I just need to make, I've got two complete eyes done, I think. So one snood is basically done. I just need to sew them on. And then I need to make uh, six more, yeah, if my math is mapping, um, six more fronts, stitch them onto the back or crochet them onto the back. And then depending on how much yarn I have left, I can make the last remaining snood. Um, it will be a bit smaller, so I will have to just judge and see. This may just end up becoming like a scrap pile i guess um that i can use for other little extras for my other future snoots but yeah that's that's the plan for now i'm just dropping yarn all the place um so i think i just need to get started and get going the first thing i want to do is get these eyes done so i am going to get started on that i've already got some black on my hook so i've done the first little bit of the front of the eye i've connected the white i just need to get the eyes done so that is my plan. Hopefully it takes me maybe like two hours at most. Um, I do also have to bake some bread for breakfast. So we will see how much time I get uh, this morning just to get all my eyes completed. But that is my plan. By midday today, I want all of my eyes completed and then I can hopefully sew them on to the three finished ones and I might just get to this one later because this is still fairly 
early in the whip process so without further blabbering i'm gonna get started on my eyes wish me luck and hopefully i will see you in a couple hours we've got one done and that is now a total of three I was looking at these before and I was wondering if this would actually look like a fun alien who knows if I put like I've just dropped one but like three eyes like one in the middle and then one on either side would that look like a alien to you <laughs> need to find the other eye I, don't know. I wish I had more hands to hold all of these but you kind of get the vision don't you <laughs> Would that look like an alien? I don't know. Maybe I'll just stick with alien ears for a future project, but that is one done um, and many, many more to go. Five more to be specific. I am starving though and my dough is done rising, so I'm gonna pop my bread into the oven and yay, breakfast soon after that, fingers crossed. And then I'm gonna keep crocheting. I will catch up with you maybe in the next half hour once the bread is done and I'm gonna be taking a break from crocheting and we'll see how many we get done. It is now a quarter past one. The day did get ahead of me, unfortunately, and I did not finish all my eyes. I managed to get two more done and then I took a little break to have some brunch and do some laundry. I've just got two more front of eyes to go. Um, and I think once I've done that, I am gonna work on the rest of this frog snood. Hopefully I can still make it work for a greyhound size. I think I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller than the other ones because I am using some of that yarn to make the eyes, but not much. But um, yeah, usually it takes me one full skein to make one of these, just bases. So I will get done with that hopefully in the next maybe three hours, fingers crossed. And then I'm just going to sew all the eyes onto all of these. Um, and then we'll have four frog snoots. So I'm just going to get started on that and I'll see you once I'm done. We have run into a little bit of a hiccup. I am currently doing my very last eye and have unfortunately run out of white yarn. So this is all the yarn I have left of this particular shade of white. I do have other white skeins, but they are noticeably different, the shades of white. Um, white isn't a very annoying color to try and match. So <laughs> I have checked all of my white skeins because I have heaps and donated yarn um, and none of them match this exactly. So it'll be noticeably different if I do do a color change and do one more round of white, which I need to do and unfortunately I can't just rip this out and then do another shade of white because I've already got the other eye or like the second last eye done and this was done with this yarn so if I you know use a different white and then sew them onto the same snood it is going to be noticeably different and the rescue is going to be selling these so it needs to be perfect I can't just you know make it look half done I can't do that um so I think I'm just going to cut my losses I don't really want to eat into more yarn and make another eye with you know matching shades of white because I'm already playing yarn chicken with this possible fourth one um, I have already eaten into quite a bit of the skein just to make the other eyes. So I think I'm just going to put this in my recycle pile. They will probably go into Amagurumi or something like that. And I will be ripping or frogging this frog <laughs> snoot. Um, how ironic. But yes, I'm just going to cut my losses. I have three sets of eyes done and I can do the three frogs. I think we'll just stick with that. Now time to frog. So I have got my frog beanie. We always need to get in character when we do frogs. So there she is. And <laughs> let's get frogging.
So unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. Um, that last note's not gonna happen, but I am now just gonna start sewing the eyes onto the snip bases. And only six eyes to sew, so hopefully it shouldn't take me that long. I'm estimating 20 minutes, fingers crossed. I am flawed everything, including stitching things together. So hopefully we can get that done in the next 20 minutes, but let's get going. is three frog snoots done that has literally taken me most of the day it is now about 3 15 in the afternoon i started many many hours ago at about 10 o'clock so i can't believe this is all i've spent my time doing literally just creating the eyes and stitching them on but um i am slow at everything so surprise surprise but i think the next category that i'm going to move on to are these red snoots i've got about five of them so they are by far the biggest category of whips i would say I did measure the amount of yarn that I had left and it was only about 110 grams. Each of these snoots take about 50 grams so I can get two more snoots out of that remaining yarn and I think I'm going to do that instead of creating fox ears um, because the more snoots we have the more money we can raise for the rescue. So definitely going for a quantity over variety. I do have other red yarn um, in my stash so I can make some more from a different shade but that can be like a later thing. I am just going to get started on the horns for these now. I have already luckily got three sets done so I literally just need to make two more sets so four more horns it shouldn't take me too long but I say that about a lot of things and I'm often wrong so <laughs> hopefully an hour fingers crossed I want to get it done at least before I start making dinner um because yeah sewing will take just as long knowing me um but yeah I'm gonna get started now create some little horns for the two remaining snoots that I don't currently have them for and then we're just gonna stuff them and sew them and I'll see you when I'm done with all of that It is 1 p.m. on Sunday and I finally have all five devil snoots done. I really was hoping to get all of this done yesterday, but unfortunately, little Peely was a bit sick. I think it was just a bad reaction to his worming medication. So he did do a little bit of a vomit, which I had to clean up from his bed. And then he was just a bit anxious the whole evening. So a lot of my time went towards comforting him. Um, and that was just time out of crocheting. So unfortunately, not much got done last night. Um, and then I ended up finishing the devils this morning. I then went off to the gym, got back home, fed ourselves, <laughs> and it is now one o'clock in the afternoon. So I don't know where the day has gone, but it has gone. So I need to get a crack on the unicorn snoots. There's only three of them, and I just need to do the ears, the horns, and the hair, which is going to take the most amount of time because I'm going to do spirals. And then there's so much work that actually goes into creating those spirals. So I just want to get it done ASAP. So what I'm going to do is make the ears out of the same yarn as I made the snood it is this lovely pink speckled yarn and i'm gonna do the inner parts of the year in gray i think it will contrast really well and i will be doing the horn in gray as well so the inner parts of the year will sort of match the horn and then there's the spirals for the hair will go around the horn and i think i might do that in pink or purple but i just want to get the ears and the horns done and stitched on on all three of them and then I'll get started on the hair so let's get going
that's 11 snoots done and ready for donation to Gumtree Grays. Look at this pile of snoots. I can't believe I let it get this crazy. I can barely hold them together. The amount of times I've dropped them trying to film this little clip clip is ridiculous and is saying something so never again i'm gonna get them done as soon as i can and go back to my rule of one whip of a kind hopefully um but yeah let me show you what they look like i will put some pictures of socks modeling them at the end because he's probably going to do a better job than my little hand here and don't worry he gets paid in lots and lots of treats and he loves food so he loves modeling them for me he gets so spoiled but i have got one of these unicorns with pink hair the snood base actually has pink and purple and gold or yellow running through it. So I tried to match that up with the hair and I've got pink here, just one of them. And I've got two purples. The purple on the hair isn't exactly the same shade as the purple on the snood, the flex. But I still think it looks quite cute. What do you think? Probably a bit hard to tell what it looks like with my hand modeling it. But imagine this is a dog snood. <laughs> so that's two purples. And three frogs. These ones are so simple yet so cute. It is dark green, so hopefully my camera is reflecting the color properly. Yeah. <laughs> three frogs. And last but not least, we have got some Halloween snoots. So we have got five devils, and they are so incredibly cute. I can't believe how quick time is flying. It is almost Halloween, and that is ridiculous to me. Um, I feel like, yeah, just what has happened? <laughs> I've blinked, and we are here. Um, but that is life, I guess. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me on this little journey of getting my whips under control. I hope you guys were as entertained as I was. <laughs> <laughs> it took me an entire weekend but we finally got there but yeah i will see you in my next video and until then i hope all of you have some much deserved crafting time thank you for watching bye